Hello and thank you for your interest in Message Viewer Pro, the advanced viewer for viewing uh, EML files and MSG files and also PST files if you have Mappy present on the computer. Well, today we're just going to take you through some of the really basic features of Message Viewer Pro so you get a, a quick overview of what the application uh, can do for you. So just sort of uh, working our way across the screen here, on the left side we have uh, the files menu where we can navigate to different directories and then load up the uh, the MSG files. Next to files we have a favorites capability and this is good for uh, bookmarking emails that you may want to return to at some point. You can just uh, drag and drop things over here in the favorites. Uh, another thing you can do is uh, add a location to a uh, to a disk location and you can uh, create folders store comments here it's uh, it's it's quite simple to do let's see let's add a new shortcut and we'll add it to uh, oh maybe this file here, this folder here called PST now if we want to uh, access the fo the files that are in that folder we just simply have to click on it unfortunately there's no uh, no files in that folder right now but um, so that's uh, that's basically how uh, how the favorites work. You can also rename it. Rename the favorites to anything that anything that you'd want. Okay. So um, moving across the top of the feature list here, we have the ability to uh, forward and reply to email messages as well. So if we if this is something that we want to reply to, we just simply click reply and Message Viewer will work with with your uh, default email application. In this case, I'm, I've got Outlook installed on this computer, so uh, I, I can uh, now reply to this message uh, using Outlook. And again, it'll work with just about any uh, uh, email client. Uh, if there are attachments, we could also forward the email and the attachments. We can uh, print the message simply by clicking the print message button. And we have the ability to uh, be able to search for files as well using quite a few different criteria. And searching, uh, uh, we can have an exact match or partial match and uh, case sensitive or not, uh, search only MSG files or EML files or both. So you have quite a few options here for performing searches on directories of, of email messages. We have the ability to uh, to export messages as well. We can uh, export them to uh, a variety of formats. The first thing that we would do it would be to uh, select the destination folder where we want the exported messages to go to. And we can apply a custom naming scheme to the exported files as well. So, uh, you know, if you want to call this the, uh, you know, case 152 dash, now uh, we can increment files uh, beginning at 1000. Uh, we can have letter prefixes. We can increment the letter prefixes as well. This uh, this export manager was really designed for some of our, our legal clients that have the, the need to uh, export in a beat stamp style uh, naming scheme. Uh, you can extract file attachments from the emails as, uh, as they're being exported. Uh, you can also include the, the name of the file in the top line. Uh, you can stop the export if it encounters an error or uh, any emails that it fails to export you can have copied to a, a separate folder so that you can go in and process those manually. Um, in terms of the formats, there's a variety of formats you can select including PDF, uh, GIF, TIFF, PNG, bitmap, JPEG, text. Uh, recently, we added the ability to uh, delete messages as well. So if you find a message that you don't want, uh, you can select it or multiple messages and you can send them to the recycle bin. Now, I, I understand that some system administrators may have some pause with, uh, with this feature. Uh, so we also included the ability to remove the delete button or uh, literally any of the other uh, options that are on this toolbar menu. Uh, when it's installed. So uh, when you install Message Viewer Pro, if you set the switches, it will 
uh, automatically remove the delete button or any of the other buttons that you select. So we, we did that to empower uh, system administrators, but we also realized that there was a real uh, usefulness in being able to delete messages for some of our users. So we, we wanted to include it, but we also wanted to give you the ability to uh, take it away. Now with Message Viewer Pro, you, you can easily scan through the messages just by uh, paging through the system. The message is displayed down here. If there are any attachments, they would be displayed in the very bottom uh, window pane. You can also view the full uh, internet message header information and uh, full uh, MAPI extended message properties can also be, uh, uh, be viewed here as well. There's a number of other options up here under application in settings. This is where you can select your, your preferred language. You can also select the language as you install the application, but if you want to change it to a different language, you can do that on the fly here. And you can also set uh, Message Viewer Pro to be the default handler for MSG files or for EML files or for both types of files. We also have the ability to uh, uh, allow you to export all messages, to uh, export all the messages to a CSV format. So if you choose that, Message Viewer Pro will take the messages that you selected and uh, copy the uh, the major message uh, uh, information like you know the, the from field to field carbon copy subject things like that, and it'll it'll put it into uh, a CSV common delimited file that you can import into uh, you know SQL Server or into uh, Microsoft Excel if you like. There's also a file naming utility so uh, to help you rename a directory full of, uh, of uh, message files as well. So I think that's going to wrap up this video but hopefully this has given you a good overview of what Message Viewer Pro can do for you and uh, uh, if you have any questions feel free to contact our sales team at sales at encryptomatic.com or our support team at uh, www.encryptomatic.com forward slash support and we really appreciate any feedback that you could give us on how we can improve the, the viewer, how we can make it uh, more useful for, uh, for your application, what, what it is that you're trying to accomplish. We get our best development ideas from our users and we, uh, we welcome you to, uh, to, send, to send us your suggestions. Uh, customization of Message Viewer Pro is also available. So if it's almost perfect for what it is you need to do, but not quite, uh, give us a call and we can, we can give you a quote on what it would take to customize the viewer. Thanks again, and uh, we look forward to having you as a customer soon.